hello in this jquery video i am going to show you how to you know get and set css classes so a class as you know is something like so if i create a div and if i create text here hello world and maybe the other class and you can apply multiple classes to elements so let's say if i say class one for example you know there's something simple actually i call it blue and i'm just going to add a little style tag here so it's style so it's going to be very stylish and what we are going to do is say uh, the blue tag is going to change the color to blue simply put that is all it's doing that's all it is going to do so if we reload it as you can see it has blue now so we're actually going to get rid of this and we're going to add the class using jquery i'm going to have a button and this button is going to say add class and i will have an id to be able to identify it i'm just going to call this add class okay so if we go to our javascript file we are going to detect so we're going to attach an event to the button so it's going to say and that is just going to be add class dot click so when the button is clicked if you're a bit unsure about what's happening here or here for this part i recommend checking out oh that needs to be hash for this part, I recommend checking at the selectors part of the series, and for this little section, recommend checking at the events part of the series. Once you're all good with that, let's continue. So what we're gonna do is select the element. You always need to select the element, and I'm simply just gonna say div, just to keep it simple. But you can use any fancy selector. Do dot add class, and this add class is actually a method. And just to prevent any confusion, I'm gonna say add class button just so there's no confusion between this and this because these are technically two different things and now you simply provide the class you want to add it doesn't matter whether you have any styling set up for it because you can apply something that doesn't really have styling set up for it just won't do anything but you can maybe you you know do that you set up the css later potentially and blue so if i reload click it as you can see it's applied the class but if i reload and i just inspect the element so you can see right there i click add class as you can see the blue class has been added so let's say you add a class how about removing a class really simple i'm going to create another button and i think you can guess this is going to say remove class so remove class and if I go to, I will just literally copy this. The only thing we need to change is detect when the remove class button is clicked. And instead of add class, we put remove class. So anything they picked up by the selector, so any div element, will have its blue class removed. So if I run it, I go to here, if I click remove class, you know, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't exist at this point on any class. Or a div class now if i click it on here and i click that as you can see it's removed it the final one i'm going to show you is the toggle class and if i were to copy this change this to toggle class and this will just toggle it on or off so if you if the selector picks up an element that already has that class you'll just basically move it if it picks up an element that doesn't have that class you'll add it so if you just want to be able to just toggle it this is the method for you so if we copy this oh, no, there we go well we're done well we're done let's like say if i copy this and i'm just going to say toggle class and all you do is put toggle now if i reload it click it as you can see it adds it if i click it again it removes it 
And you know, I could do that, I could do that, that, and as you can see, it all works fine. So, so this is how you add a class specifically once you've selected an element or set of elements. This is how you remove the class, and this is how you toggle it. Very simple stuff. You don't have to enclose it within a button click. This piece of code, or this code, or this code could be anywhere, you know, based on some sort of condition, or even at the, you know, the start of your web page. So that's it, simple stuff. If you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video